Hello YouTubers, my name is Trinell and I am going to be doing my first henna today. Um, so I would not necessarily call this a tutorial because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, you should call this more of a what happens when or if. So hopefully I won't go bald and you know you can just watch me force gump my way through this one. Um, the reason why I wanted to do a henna is because I heard it had conditioning properties. Um, I'm trying to get more natural with my hair. Um, it's obvious that I did not want to do henna to dye my hair red because it's already red. Um, so I did a lot of research online trying to find the right recipe or mix because I heard that henna in itself could be very drying and I didn't want anything to dry my hair out. So um, I will post or list the ingredients I used on the little description of the YouTube. And so let's try to get this thing started. Okay, the first thing I read was you should always try to put petroleum jelly. I don't know if this is going to come back backwards because that's the mirror, but we all know what Vaseline is. Um, put that on your ears and hairline because you don't want it to stain your face. I'm going out to the clubs looking like a spotted beast. You wouldn't want that on your ears. Feels like I'm about to go on a fight, schoolyard fight, even though I've never been in a fight in my life. Well, I don't count my little brother. And that time my cousin did sneak me when I was 10 and I was cleaning the, the tub. She came behind me and grabbed my ponytail and dragged me out the bathroom. But I'm not going to count that. I'm a nice civil girl. I never fought. So anyway, I'm trying to get that Vaseline everywhere. Okay, on my neck. And henna is also, it will stain your clothes. So I'm wearing an old shirt. It has little stains on it already. Spit valves. I was a ska punk rock band when my friends was in, so. Okay. Nice thin layer. Hopefully I won't break out. Okay. Using old towels. Um, oh, that's another thing. Henna, again, stains, so I am standing on an old towel. These are the towels that we used to wash our dog with. Well, poor little Snoop, he got hit by a car a few months ago, and he's no longer with us. I was never really a dog person, but um, it was my husband's dog, so I got married into the dog, and I miss that dog. Uh, anyway, um, then the gloves. You want to stain your hands up. Oh, a little funny story about these particular surgical gloves. When I had my son, I had to have a cesarean. And I don't know if it's because of a cesarean or the epidural or childbirth in general that, um, well, after you have the baby, the bowels kind of sit there. They don't really move that much. So when I was about to go home or when I was being released, the nurse said that I should use suppositories. Yay, fun. And she also mentioned that sometimes people need help with said suppositories. And, well, my... Husband had to help me put in my suppositories, and he he also gave me my um my pain medication because of the cesarean. And he was so funny. He said, "I know how to show my wife a good time. Drug her up and stick things up her ass." <laughs> so anyway, these are the gloves that we snatched from my um my hospital room so he could do the suppositories. So that's your little um. Too much information from Trinell bit for today. Okay. Um, before um, I did my henna, I haven't done it yet. Um, I prepared my hair. I um, I washed it with um, uh, oh gosh, what did I use? Oyen honey wash and conditioned it with the honey hemp conditioner. I uh, detangled my hair and I um, put in these very attractive twists, as you can see. And, okay, I'm so nervous that I'm going to jack my hair up. Okay, so I'm just going to start from the back on furrow one and get to applying. And these gloves are huge. Oh, I'm already mess, making a mess. Okay, I get it on everything. Hopefully this will work. Get that back in there when the 
kitchen. Oh, aliens! I've got it on my hand, my arm. I used about um, 50 grams of henna. I bought a few hundred grams, but like I said, I'm not using this for dyeing. So I didn't want to use the whole thing. That's why I mixed it with a lot of stuff. Um, cheap, and I want to well, make this last. Yeah, y'all are probably not going to watch this. Oh, hell. Stuff is messy. This is technically my husband's bathroom so put the bathroom in the in the main in the master suite where the sink is is carpeted for some reason I don't know and this has linoleum so I figure I won't mess anything up in here uh, I ban my husband from using the other bathroom he likes to handle his business. He's very health conscious and he eats loads of fiber. So there you go. Okay. I've applied it all. I, I don't I don't think 50 grams is enough. Um, cause it doesn't have that packed mud like look I see on other people's albums, but that is quite alright. I got more on me than anything. Make sure I get all that off. I'm gonna be a spotted monster now. Um, this is how it looks in the back. Shrinkage is something else. So I am going to take these off carefully. I don't even know why I'm doing it carefully because it's still all over my body. Um, now I know why. Let me put the, some new ones on. Exciting stuff, huh? You know, I actually, before I um, was about to film this video, I looked at myself and said, gosh, I don't have any makeup on. Probably gonna look like a mess. Let me put some makeup on, and then I was like, "Girl, stop the insanity! You about to put henna all over your body? Let it sit for a little while, and then hop in the shower. Why on earth are you gonna put on makeup?" So, this is natural me, all natural. Stick that in there. Oh, good lord! Please don't stain. Please don't stain. Please don't stain. Please don't stain. Okay. Alrighty. I look like one of the lunch ladies from my elementary school. You want peas with that? Yeah, <laughs> okay. I'm a dork. Um, okay, so I am going to clean myself off a little bit. Um, do some laundry, clean the house a little bit. Um, maybe let this sit for, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour, how long it takes me to clean up. And um, I will see you all in a bit. Okay, I am back. Um, I washed out the henna with um, a conditioner, uh, probably like herbal essence or something like that. Um, I don't really see any difference. It doesn't feel hard or anything. I guess, um, you know, it's going to take more than one application to see the effects of henna. Um, it was fun and uh, it was a beast to get out. Um, I thought I was going to shrivel up in that shower because it took so long to get out. I was waiting for clear water. But, um, yeah, that was my first henna experience. Thank you for coming along with me on my new journey. Um, I'm gonna go, oh, and there's no product in my hair right now, as you can tell. Um, I'm going to um, go and put some product in my hair, maybe do a little video about why I'm natural and blah, blah, blah. Okay, oh, here's the back of my hair. All right, thank you, bye.